All right, so welcome back to the KDBA TV YouTube channel. We're going to do something a little fun and exciting today. Similar to what we did with the 2021 Toyota Hilux, we're going to be reviewing the 2021 Suzuki Jimny. Hi, mates. The weather's a bit buggered. Fancy a drop. <laughs> My name is Devante. My name is Salim Khan, Auto 715 Performance Shop and KDBA TV. <laughs> Before we get started with the video, I'd like to talk about our new channel sponsors, Brighton Performance and Alpha Tech. They provide a bunch of diesel performance, not only diesel, a lot of pickup performance, and, yeah. and even they have aftermarket support for um, gas vehicles as well. I've been using an Alpha, Te Alpha Tech Spark 2 throttle controller in my van and it feels a lot of it feels a lot peppier than it, it he tries to run peanut but still can't <laughs> shut up smoke. shut up right you drive my van you say wow this feeling more better than a tree he me. was real sketch when i was driving the van he was like <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna die <laughs> all right 2021 20, suzuki jimny so in this video we're gonna be talking about a few things about it we're gonna cover a few things about this suzuki jimny the new model what are, your, what are your thoughts on it so far? Um, honestly speaking, for a while now I've been looking at it and it caught my attention. Um, being based off of Mr. David's Jimny, which I have experienced driving and riding in, um, it kind of grew me to love these vehicles, even with short wheelbase. Um, yeah, um, we're going to get into the body design, the engine, the interior, what upgrades it did, um, the suspension, what upgrades are available. So let's take um, a dive into it. And most importantly, we're going to talk about if it's a good daily driver for a lot of people out there that are just looking for a good get around vehicle. So let's get it on. Let's take a drive. Let's go for a drive. Twenty twenty one Suzuki Jimny. First, first arm impressions. We in the interior, we in inside of it right now, we're going for a drive, put on my seat belt before everybody come at me for, for that. <sighs> um the driver perspective. Um it's really you get a good overlook of the um the front, the seats for the short people on them, the seats are very good. Um the steering feels really nice, it's a, it's a kind of leather wrapped kind of stitch business feels really nice and comfortable like the usual new model feel um the instrument panel is basically normal no semi demi it looks nice though it looks it, like real clean it, it, it's like an orange back glow yeah. with a, a little um digital in the center with the fuel gauge and stuff time air condition temperatures yeah um the deck however is, is really good it's, it's um actually it has, Apple, car, it has CarPlay. Apple CarPlay oh. and Android Auto. Um, <laughs> the steering wheel controls, very good. It, um, it, it, it didn't good reach space and everything, so you could rather look down for, towards it. You know what this has also? What? It has windshield wash. Oh, sorry, not windshield. Or auto Light, windshield wipers? Light, a light washer. What, what, what does that mean? For your headlamps. There's really? A, there's, a there's a headlight washer for your headlamps? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I was scoping out one of those. I was uh -huh. like, dog, if you get muddy, yes. Yeah. You can wash your headlight. Oh, that's cool. Dog. And it comes out a good pressure. Passenger's perspective. I really like it. You have a little grab handle here. Oh, shit handle. <laughs> a oh, shit handle for when you're going off road. That's real cool. Um, I love the design. It reminds me of a. A Jeep, a Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, I mean, it, it still, it, it brings back the, the same interior design from the older model Jimny's. It didn't really yeah. much change. So as compared to the older model JB43, which had the rounded, um, the more rounded body lines and stuff like that, it went further back and maintained the straight seam line, kind of boxy shape, which I personally like. It's like, it's nostalgic, it's 
solid six. I think this is the best looking chimney. Also, uh, all of them. Um, I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's and the new. thing is, all of them are basically the same because they have the same suspension. It appeals to the millennials, I guess. <sighs> wow. But the only thing really changed in this model chimney is the interior design and the exterior design. Most of the suspension are, are the same. It's the same solid axle, solid front, axle front and back, that, which is really cool because a lot of older vehicles, which transitioned into newer vehicles, went IFS. Yeah. Like with the Hilux transition into IFS, and a lot of vehicles transitioning into IFS, the Suzuki Jimny is still a solid axle, which is really cool for off-road capabilities. This is a really small vehicle, but it is very capable off-road, which is really good. It, it comes with 195 80 15s, uh -huh. which is really small. Which is like a 27 inch tire or something like that. Something like that. I, I think the biggest tire you could fit on this is a 31 inch tire. But it makes up with its awesome 100 horsepower, 95 foot pounds of torque, big block 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this Jimny with just driving it around the block, it feels really. How does it feel? Is it like it feels sluggish? Um, it's not. I, I just not. I don't give it the beans though. I just, is it because my weight isn't it? No, no. I just, <laughs> I just um, driving casual. You know, driving Miss Daisy. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, it's a memory. It's alone now. We we gotta take our time. We can't give it the beans. Yeah. I I would be comfortable in this just driving to work and back. And we can have it, a, it, it, actually, it. it actually is. It actually com it's comfortable. Um, I could see myself sitting in Port of Spain traffic with this and having no issues. Um, I don't feel like I don't need to have to move around and stuff like that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the back seat, however, is kind of small, so I'm not sure how well four big adults may fit in it. It's a two door vehicle. It's yet we yet to discover if it is okay we'll probably load up and see how it fits four-wheel drive and downhill assist um it's pretty lemon um it's not rocket sense yeah it's it's literally just a lever you're in two-wheel drive most of the time it's just like a pickup truck so me personally even though they say you can switch it on the fly i will always do the regular thing neutralize pull down into 4h drive Four wheel drive is on. It's simple. It's basically just like a pickup truck. Um, I was looking at some features online, and they said it has the all grip, which isn't lockers. But if you find yourself in an off camber situation, it will actually help to turn the wheel that is on traction to be able to get out of wherever you're stuck. Um, I, I have to check and see if this one actually has it. I, I, I didn't get a fiddle with it as Which yet. model is this? By the way, this is the the fully loaded version that we get locally here in Trinidad. Um, this comes with all the bells and whistles, the magrims, the automatic, um, yeah, the the deck with the Apple CarPlay. This is really nice. I'm loving it, honestly. I I would want one. Um, I always thought that the Suzuki Jimmy was a mom's car, <laughs> a vehicle for girls, or men who just can't drive vans no but actually I, I would like to say it is a really nice um drive um vehicle for women for daily drivers i mean it's it, it's really it's smooth. comfortable the seats are actually really soft if i had two of these i could have packed it down so in my garage comfortably behind one behind each other <laughs> i'm loving it work. i'm loving it i would get one um oh one thing that i uh, i actually found interesting was the fact that the doors are, are flat it's it's plain and they relocated the sure. they relocated the window switch and stuff to the center console here um so that way you know sometimes when you're driving off-road or you're driving any bumpy roads your knee tends to hit the the door panel it actually doesn't have any yeah, it, it has a lot of space here so it doesn't have anything to hamburger your knees and oh, it up. one thing i noticed it has a flat wind windshield just like the jeep yeah and the fj fj cruiser the toyota yeah. fj cruiser it, it has a interior design with a mixture of the jeep wrangler and the fj cruiser for some reason mm. i'm getting that vibe. Me, me personally i would have accented the um if it's up to me i would have accented the dashboard a little bit more to pop like a contrast rather than just plain black nah plain black is nice 
Plain black is nice, but you, you need a little accents to just give it a little flair now, if you understand what I'm saying. I mean, it, it just works, right? And that's what the Suzuki Jimny is about. It just works. It's it's very simple. It's not over complex like, um, like other new cars in the, on the market. It's really, a, it's a nice standard vehicle if you just want to buy and drive. Um, it also has some, the, the doors are really large, like a large window. So, yeah. They could wind on and hail that two, 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 three people at the same time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's real cool. A lot of headroom. Yes. How tall are you? I'm 6'1. I'm 6'4. Six foot four. And I have at least about 6 inches. Dog, of space. this is such a small vehicle and we have so much space in here. I have so much knee room. I have so much leg room. I have so much headroom. So much everything with, with room it's it's so comfortable i always thought because it was such a small vehicle it would not be comfortable but it actually is very comfortable so we're actually going through a little, little piece of gravel the road and you know it, it it feels it doesn't feel topsy-turvy it doesn't feel harsh it actually really is nice for rigid suspension yeah i love it coil springs on all four corners no leaf springs like a pickup truck yeah it's really comfortable with, um with it being solid axle after market availability there are a lot um they actually have a g wagon body kit <laughs> that is, sells it which is really tacky but it looks good yeah i mean i mean i'll throw up a picture of what it looks like if you guys ever wanted a benz champagne taste moby pockets <laughs> this is really cool it is nice it is nice um so, but the aftermarket support fit, um, there's a lot of suspensions out right now for it. Um, it's a bit on the pricey side because most of it comes out of England. Um, I'm yet to see um, China organize some um, companies out of the States to see if they have anything that offers fit. And um, yeah, so hopefully soon we'll be doing some lifts on, one of the, on some of these. So you guys can hit us up a message if you guys need a um, suspension for it. This is really nice. I'm loving it. I would lift one and put like 33s on it, or try at least try to put 33s on it. It looks sick. Yeah, I mean, if I had a wife, I'd buy one as well. Honestly, <laughs> Airb has all the aftermarket support for it as well. Yes, already bumpers and stuff, roof racks. Yes, snorkels. Um, there's also um front runner. Front runner is a great um company that has a lot of roof racks and stuff in, and it's no drilling required. It's all clamped on based on the arm, the 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 arm, the, um, uh, the rails on the side of the arm, the, the hood. So it clamps on to that, so it could be removable anytime. I saw some guys pop up some um two seventy awnings. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, so we have a few questions here from Instagram. Josh underscore Ram Kilowan, um, like Justin's brother. Justin's brother asking um leaves or coils it's coils i think we answered yeah, that we answer question, yeah. how much for it how much does this model cost? um this model i believe is 225 and the basic model is 200 um you guys could always hit up um lifestyle motors for any questions on the pricing and availability yeah what's the largest tires that can be fitted from stock with no lift no, no mods i would say around a 31 inch tire yes yeah. i said that before as well um would getting one for four by four in Trinidad and Tobago? I would say yes. Mild four by four, not like heavy off-roading. I think if you modify it to the point where you can basically go through anything, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, big lift, big tires. That's all you really need. To the trees, yeah. Yeah, I think this is a really. This could stand up against a Toyota Hilux, I believe. I still do with like heavy modification. I do like the short wheelbase. Kind of vibes you know someone asked if it has lockers no it does not unfortunately but like i said it had the it has the all grip which is not lockers but it keeps all wheels spinning together um in an off camber situation based on what I, I was reading up on about but um we could probably see if we could find some more info on it someone asked how much big females can we fit in there plus with the driver asking for scientific reasons <laughs> Well, boy, I think you can fit like three, three, yeah, three in the back and two in the front. <laughs> yeah. Someone asked, does it look like if it will flip if lifted? If you have an older Jimny, is it with switching? If you have an older Jimny, 
it is worth switching in my opinion. Chances are that um, your older model is manual and if you did have it co converted to automatic you may have some issues I'm not sure um, but if you want something that's straight out of the box easy to drive um, then yeah upgrade. Justin Ramkalawan asks how much do you need to lift to fit 33s? I would say a 3 inch suspension should be good however the ARB kit comes with 50 millimeters which is two inches um you could probably see how i uh, see that uh, 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 i've been researching and they have some body lifts available for it also so i would say if you get if you get a four inch lift comfortably you should be able to fit the tv trees Rolando Emmanuel asks does it have apple carplay yes it does and android the auto which is a really big convenience in these new cars i i regret the fact that please send a command oh and it has um voice voice commands also oh that's cool i i hate the fact that my van doesn't have apple carplay i want to change my deck because of apple carplay and all these new cars coming with it shoot us up if you have a deck for kyle with apple carplay yeah i need a deck hit mob hit mob in you can my... say phone or media you can also say commands like call followed by a number or name or play followed by an artist or album name all right Mick Christopher asks how much hers purrs does this bad boy got? As mentioned before, 100 horsepower, 95 foot pounds of torque coming out from a big block V8. I mean, 1.5. <laughs> I said V8. You're in the wrong bro, shut up. For the beat to say a command, you can say help for possible um, commands, back, to go back, ending speech recognition. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how to turn it off. Last question. Darian asks, does it still come in manual? Of course. Yes, it does come in manual, it five does. speed. Um, also, uh, something interesting I'll do, I was looking about, mm. about the approach angle, the brake angle, and the um, departure angles. Um, they say it's um, pretty similar to like that of the Jeep based on size comparison, which is like um, 37 degrees approach angle, um, 28 degrees brake angle, which is over the, um, the center, and then it's a 47 degree departure angle so when you're coming down the hills you have a nice steep in, uh, a, a steep slope to be able to um to come off without damaging the bumpers and that's basically it for the instagram questions i can answer all there's only 10 questions or 11 questions i can't remember but yeah next review i'll put more questions maybe 20 questions need it. well you need it to settle no, well yeah like it is it is more weird now Ladies and gentlemen, big shout out to our guys over at um, Adams. They are located at Central Warehousing Complex. Um, just like I said, thanks very much to them for loaning us the, the Jimny to do the review. Um, here we have a lineup of all their products here, ranging from regular car wash, straight up to polish and wax, and even an undercarriage spray for you guys who want to do the off-road. Um, it sprays on really nice, gives it a matte finish, and washes right off all the mud that you want. They have cloth, microfiber, washcloths, um, you name it, they have it. Also, you need to check out signature details because they are the authorized detailers for the use of the high-end products for ceramic coatings and stuff. Um, you can get rim, rim brushes also. Um, so yeah, so check them out guys, Central Warehousing Complex. Um, they, they have amazing products. Um, just like I shouted also, AutoNation, they have the widest variety of Honda parts for, for um, your Hondas, so check them out in El Socorro. Thanks very much guys and let's go back to the video now. Alright guys, so we're back here in 715441 shop. So basically, that's it basically for the review. I, I found that I wasn't expecting it to have so much room on the inside, I wasn't expecting it to ride so good, I wasn't expecting it to have all the features that it has, but I'm, I'm really impressed and honestly I want one. I would take one over Hilux. And that's a real strong statement. <laughs> For a couple of noobs that didn't really do any research and thing. And <laughs> yeah, we didn't do any Google. research on this. I think we, did, we gave an honest review. Yeah. We weren't paid. We weren't. Yeah. We, 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 we really wanted to, to see what this van was about because we had one available to us. And yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed. Up. I'm really impressed. Oh, by the way, let me show, let me show really quickly um, the wiper spray thing. Oh, we, I showed them already. No, oh well you could you could show, show, show them this show is them. his favorite feature come come closer come closer come closer <laughs> <laughs> you 
it has a windshield wiper sprayer, which is really cool. For, you know, you go on a trail, you get real muddy, you don't have to get a bottle of water to wash your headlights, so you could wash just its own spray headlight. it off. But yeah. um, so yeah, again, we just like to say thanks very much to ANP Distribution and Automation for allowing us the ability to have this vehicle available to us to do the review and um, bright performance for sponsoring the um the episode. Alpha Tech, get all your Spark Two and Spark Three throttle responses, intercooler kits, management, everything. Superstorm. You name it, he yeah. has it. Diesel and, um, performance, everything. So you can increase your huspers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alpha Tech is really cool. I've seen some crazy builds out in Malaysia, over 400 horsepower, 1 KD and 2 KD Hiluxes, which is really cool. That's I am ready for that level up. That's, that's crazy. That's real crazy nah, to think about. My pocket is ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> but the throttle controllers, however, you're looking for something just to get your vehicle a little more peppy. I highly recommend it. The shot to control it. Yeah, really it, cool. it works really well in the arm. Um, Even Salim, Salim, Salim drove my van and Salim knows how dead my van is. And after I installed um, the throttle controller, it improved a lot. And I'm but really it, loving it, it. It gives a lot of low end response on the arm um, 2.5s. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. I can imagine what it does for the 3 liters. So that's a wrap, guys. That's it, basically. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. <laughs>